But now F1 season is nearly upon us. About time I do a pre-season briefing. Pack your things. Get out of my building. Well, there goes the team's relevance. Big shock, you need money to succeed in Formula 1. Yes, the cost cap exists, but still, you need investment. And that's something that Gene isn't giving to his team. I'm not even going to mention the new team principal because he's just a yes man for Gene Haas. That's all he is. As for livery, it perfectly represents Haas Formula 1 team. Stagnant. Arby's. Oh my god, it even has a watermark. The only good thing about this name is that commentators are going to trip themselves over it. And I've just copy-pasted the old Toro Rosso livery. So why don't you just call it Toro Rosso? What was the whole point of Alpha Tower if you were just going to change the name only a few years later? What was the whole point? Toro Rosso is a fantastic name. In all seriousness though, this is going to be a very interesting kind of inter-team battle. Ricardo obviously wants the Red Bull seat, but Sonoda isn't going to make it easy for him. Watch this space, because it's going to be interesting. Morning. I haven't got much to say about Williams. They're just doing alright. Of course, Logan needs to perform now if he wants to keep that seat. But I still think Kimi Antonelli is going to get that seat regardless. And I'm Javier. Judging from what the driver's saying about the new car, someone's getting guillotined. Now we approach the second chicken. I'm genuinely starting to believe that the 2015 crash he had de-aged him. There can be no other explanation. Like Williams, the biggest question is with the second seat. Stroll genuinely seems fed up. 2024 might be the last straw. McLaren looked to be starting 2024 the same way they ended 2023 with a slight chance of possible victories. They'll remain a slight underdog this season. Let's be honest here, no one cares for this year. It's all about next year. For what I've been seeing from Ferrari, this is just going to be exactly the same as last year. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? I don't think it's going to work at all. Like, seriously. You're putting Lewis Hamilton, a guy who does this... With a team known for banning the colour pink. Because it doesn't fit their image. Hopefully he sorts out his wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing by the time he moves. As for Sainz, I feel sorry for him, but I don't worry for him. He's a solid driver and someone will pick him up eventually. It's going to be funny seeing the Defosi support of the very guy who they've hated for years. Well, you're funked after this season. That said, Mercedes seem to be on it. Are we underestimating Mercedes here? I am no pervert. We're fucked. We're so fun. Team Warwickshire is unbeatable. Do I like can't wait to hear the Dutch Hampton 20 times this season? <laughs> Well, okay. Okay, so he's been cleared of all wrongdoing. Took you long enough. 